Hi everyone, it's Holly here. I'm back again this week with a brand new YouTube video for you. I'm gonna be doing a try on and review of some of these YSL Love Shine lip products. Absolutely stunning packaging. They are new to me, so I'm gonna be doing some swatches and some try-ons and my genuine reaction to them because it's my first time applying them. And there's three different kinds of formulas in here I learned. There's the Tinted Lip Butter Balm, Wet Shine Lipstick, and Lip Gloss Stick, and they're all under the YSL Love Shine name, just with different formulas. So I opened these last night and there's some nudes and pinky nudes and neutrals in here. So I'm excited to try them and show you what I think and some of my favorites out of the bunch. They just have numbers, not actual, or at least on the packaging, that's all I see is numbers. So this is 1B, which is part of the Candy Glow lip balm. The packaging is obviously stunning. The very luxe. I have used and tried some YSL products before and the product, the packaging is luxe as well. It never disappoints this packaging. Apply just on my skin first, just to see the color and texture and how it applies. And then I'll show you on my lips. So it is definitely a balmy texture. I couldn't really see color to start, but I did a few coats of it and you can see that light kind of pinky color in this 1B shade. Looks like it has shimmer in it, but it doesn't. It doesn't, it's just like a glow factor, like a bomb glow factor. It doesn't actually have shine in it. Next one I have is a silver bullet with, is this the color with the color underneath? So it's a deeper color, this one. This one is in the shade 05 and it's a lipstick. Twists up the applicator. So this is gonna have, I would think a lot more pigment kind of like a glossy lipstick you can see here it's got quite a bit of pigment to it it's kind of really enhancing a natural lip color i feel like this color would be great it has a similar texture to the balm but a lot more pigment 205 is a lipstick so same formula as the last one i just showed you this is a deeper shade like a brown actually quite light pigment really natural looking and you can build it quite a bit i find if you put a little layer on you can add more and make it look a lot more bold this is a beautiful like brown color i feel like this would be gorgeous for fall winter i really like this color it's a really easy wearable formula that adds color and glow and hydration to the lips but it's not too much like where you have to stare in the mirror and apply a lipstick to make sure it's perfect because the pigment's so heavy zero two looks like a clear bomb with no color. No color, but see the shine on the skin. A good go-to for everyone to add hydration and glow to the lips. It's clear, so anyone can wear that. 844, I like this formula quite a bit. It's very glidable and buildable and light. Look how beautiful that color is. It's like a really pretty light pinky nude. That might be my favorite so far, and I really like the formula of this one. It glides on the skin, no tugging, no pulling, and it has buildable coverage. That's the standout for me so far, first impressions, 44. One I have to try out for you is 6B, which is in a deep kind of brown shade. Different texture, it's way more balmy, blotting on the skin like that. Doesn't come across in the camera as much how different these colors are, but this is a lot more brown and nude, and this is a lot pinky. Pinky Nude. I really like both of those colors actually. The texture, this one's a lot more glidable. This one's more balmy. So you do more of a blotting application with that one. But take off my lip that I have on today and apply these on my lips. Lip liner is applied. I'm just using an e.l.f. pencil one. I really just like basic pencil lip liners, honestly. I'm gonna start off with 205. It smells amazing. I didn't notice that when I was swatching on my arm, how amazing these smell quite a dark color and it doesn't come off that dark but it does give me that nude tone so i like how that comes across but it's not super pigmented it's really really nice for on the go a beautiful nude zero five so this is a the little more reddish tone this is definitely the lip balm one because it's tacky you can see application on the lips so it kind of doesn't pull but you kind of have to do a dabbing application matches my shirt i love wearing a brown lip liner in a shade like this it's more hydrating on the lip it has a very that similar really nice smell to it but it is more of a balmy texture and when you have your lips together it holds a little bit whereas the last one is a little more glidable next one we have is 6b so the oh this one's quite brown 
So this is another lip balm. So this is similar to the first one pigment wise. It has that brown shade to it. It's not nearly as dark as the, it looks like in the packaging. Number 44. Oh, I love this texture so much. It just feels so luxurious. I love applying this. I really like this color too. It's like a mauve pink nude, very subtle. I love this one. 1B. This one just has the most subtle color to it. So this probably won't show up too much, but it will definitely add some shine to the lip. And this kind of product usually, when it's thicker like that, stays on longer. So you can see it adds hydration, glow, just a little bit of pink, like it enhances your lip color a little bit. Shade 02. So this is the clear one. It's a candy glaze. This one has a little bit different of a scent to it. This one almost smells a little bit like mint, more of a fresh, a scent which is really nice for a clear formula you can really feel like when you have your lips together like it kind of takes a little bit to separate your lips so at least that mint scent just adds a little something to it my favorite overall was that 44 1 b were my favorite so this one is like just got that little bit of pinkiness to it and then 44 is like this kind of pinky mauve color those are my favorite i think beautiful and my favorite formula is that fine they all have a very similar shine to the lip they all feel hydrating the 144 is the one that's like smooth and glidable on the lips and that's a really nice experience it smells fruity which i love i my favorite overall they're just subtly a little bit different same shine and they kind of give you a blush of color and pink and nude and i really love that that is the end of my YSL Love Shine lip review swatching and tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video down below and follow me here on YouTube so you don't miss any of my videos. And don't forget to head over to Instagram and follow me at the same handle as well. As always, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.